To extra depth on how a group of local rivals became friends, this photo that you see here behind us shows how being opponents did not stop students from becoming friends. ABC 7 Sports Director Adrian Ochoa has the story you'll see only on ABC 7. Yeah, Eric and Stephanie, it all started with this photo that was shared on social media a few weeks ago. It was during a, during a cross-country meet. A runner from Anthony Middle School came to the aid of a fellow competitor, a runner from Riverside Middle. It's a photo that when I learned the whole story behind it and met those involved, it really brought into focus a story of compassion and also friendship. I need some cross-country <laughs> Angelique Guerrero and Demi Arseniega aren't just teammates, they're best friends. Eighth graders at Anthony Middle School and members of the school's cross-country team. It was during the first cross-country meet of the season that the girls noticed a runner exhausted and in need of help. And I saw like the symptoms of her like already gonna like faint and stuff. So what I, I did is I grabbed her arm and I put it around mine, around my shoulders and then I just was walking with her. That runner was Valerie Fuentes, an eighth grader at Riverside Middle School. When Angeli started getting tired, Demi stepped in. I just had her arm around my shoulder and I just jogged to it with her to the end. I just say I don't take losing that well, but in this case, I did. I was like, okay. It's Demi seen in the photo helping Valerie to the finish line. But Demi wanted to make sure everyone knew the whole story. But I feel like Angelie didn't get all the credit that she deserved because there's no pictures of her, like carrying her, of course, because it was a little more in the race, and I feel like she deserves a little more of that credit. Angelie couldn't fight back the tears of her friend's kind words. For them, it was about doing the right thing. Because if, if I was in that situation, I would want someone to do the same for me. So, like that everyone says, what you put out in the world is what you get back. So I felt like I should help. A week later, the girls were on to the next meet, and there was someone there who wanted to say thank you. I really love her because of that. I literally love her because of that. I told her that I was feeling bad and that um, I, couldn't, I, could, I couldn't do it, but she told me that. She encouraged me. She, thank you very much, guys. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, so, yeah we, we're so friends, and we're, I hope we still talk and hang out sometime, and yeah. You can really just be friends with anyone, like there's some really good people out there. Yeah, and you really don't realize it until like you find them, and it's crazy. Crazy, but hey, that's life. No matter the uniform, there's always room for more friends. One, two, three, three. Definitely the start of a beautiful friendship there, and uh, kudos to them for, for doing that. Uh, there's your look. We'll be back for sports coming up. We'll send things over to Doppler. All right, let's get right to weather and uh, check it out. You can see showers and thunderstorms developing across parts of town. The heaviest activity is in eastern El Paso County, now making its way